Hello friends, welcome to Concepts of Geology, the online platform where we are learning crystallography now through a series of comprehensive classes. On the last class, uh, we studied the crystallography, the module 1 of crystallography that was the distribution of atoms inside a crystal. The first class was about the observations in crystallography made by our pioneer crystallographers. And today we are going to start the second class of the module 1 that is the concepts of unit cell and lattices in crystallography. Okay, let's begin. Now before diving into the main concept of unit cell or lattices, we should know what a crystal actually mean. A crystal is a piece of homogeneous solid having a highly ordered internal arrangement of the constituent atoms which results in a regular external geometric form bounded by symmetrically arranged faces. Okay? And from our geological point of view, crystals are always naturally occurring and inorganically formed. Now put a closer look on the definition and observe it is said that here crystals are piece of homogeneous solid. Okay? Look here, piece of homogeneous solid. That means it has no bound on size. The constituent atoms can be extended to infinity in any direction. Rather, what important is crystals must have a regular geometric form which is bounded by faces. So if I take a rom of calcite and try to break it, it will be fragmented through its cleavages. Now all the fragments will have a smaller but similar shape of large rom. Look at the animation here. Okay. So now all these fragments are actually the cleavage fragments of the larger crystal but there is nothing wrong if I treat them as individual crystals if I found individually them after this breakup. Now very cleverly the large ROM should not be called as the aggregate of calcite crystals okay? because if I am taking the smaller cleavage fragments of calcite as individual crystals then cleverly we should not uh, call this large ROM as a uh, aggregate of crystal. No, this is not. That is a single crystal of course. Okay? In crystal aggregates, each individual crystal is separately grown and essentially not a part of a large single lattice. Okay? Actually in nature, minerals do not form in a perfect crystal saps. Rather, mineralogists reconstruct the shape in their mind. This is an image of aggregate of quartz crystals. Okay? See, here these crystals all are individual. They are not sharing a lattice, a common lattice. So what I was trying to say that crystals have no size limit. Okay? Now, a definite question arises here that if I start breaking a large crystals, then which will be the smallest representative of the crystal? I mean, in the previous example like in the calcite, if I continue breaking the calcite rom, Ultimately, we will reach to the atoms of calcite that is the calcium, carbon and oxygen. Are they the correct smallest representative of the calcite rom? The answer is no because these elements can form aragonite also which has an orthorhombic shape. Okay? Look, this is the crystal shape of the aragonite. Okay? This is different from this rhombohedral calcite. So, which will be the smallest representative? The smallest representative will be that one which poses the same symmetry like the larger crystal. Okay? Now to understand the meaning of the same symmetry, we need to visualize the example of a square. The detailed learning of uh, symmetries and their definitions that will be, uh, we will learn it later. But for now, we will see what are the symmetries present in a square. Okay? A square has one fourfold rotational axis, this one in the center of the body and four mirror planes, okay? two are along these diagonals and the rest two are parallel to the arms of this square. Okay? So four mirror planes and one fourfold rotational axis is the uh, typical symmetry of a square. Okay? So now if I trying to start breaking this uh, square into regular separate objects, so we may have this type of triangular fragments okay, or this type of rectangular fragments or this type of square fragments. Okay. So now which will be the best fit smallest representative of the larger square? Definitely this one. 
because these fragments are showing the same symmetry like larger square okay so that smallest representative which when repeats on three dimension create the entire structure that smallest representative is called the unit cell of that structure okay this was the basic conception but now we will think on it uh, in some more realistic way okay suppose i have a group of atoms and i am arranging them to make an atomic structure now i must need a basic plan uh, that how to arrange because the same group of atoms can create different structures when arranged in different patterns we have just seen the example of calcite and aragonite where the same atoms the same elements okay the calcium carbon and oxygen when they are repeating in a different patterns they are creating different looking uh, crystals okay so this basic blueprint is called the lattice okay and the atom here are called the motif okay so see this basic blueprint this is the lattice okay and when i am arranging this icon within this lattice so this icon become the motif of that lattice okay so this is the motif and the basic blueprint that is a square grid pattern is the lattice of the uh, structure what i am trying to say is that this basic square grid pattern this blueprint is the lattice of the structure okay and when i am uh, replacing this lattice point with any icon or any atoms this lattice point this point is becoming a motif okay so on the previous example the stars was the uh, motif and this plan is called the lattice now very clearly lattices are geometric plan which does not have a physical existence lattices have no boundary and that's why uh, the crystal is also having no size limit okay because if i add more atoms on this direction and this direction the lattice will be extended infinitely and the crystal will be extended again infinitely so that is why on the definition we called that it is a piece of homogeneous solid okay now very clearly we are understanding the lattice here but the question is which will be the unit cell here remember the definition of unit cell again it is the smallest representative which when repeats on three dimension create the entire structure now if i repeat only these motifs okay suppose only these dots i am not going to get the entire structure because there is some empty spaces which is surrounding this uh, dots this motifs okay this spaces are also repeating to create the entire structure so when i am considering the unit cell then this empty spaces should also be incorporated okay so the unit cell means the motif plus the empty space okay so on the summary of the class we are getting that the lattice means the blueprint of the arrangement the basic plan of the arrangement okay and the motif means the physical entity which repeats for example suppose an atom okay i am replacing each point of lattice by an atom then it will become a motif okay so here the atom is the motif on that example where i have drawn a, a stars on the lattice pointed so those stars are the motif there okay and what is the unit cell the unit cell is the geometric shape made up of the motif plus the surrounded empty spaces which when repeats on three dimension create the entire structure so clearly when motifs are repeating in three dimension they are not creating the entire structure rather when i am taking the empty spaces which is surrounding the motif when when i am repeating this entire thing then only the entire structure is going to be created okay so this is the definition of lattice motif and unit cell next the lattice has no physical existence okay this is only a geometric plan which we are keeping in our uh, background knowledge okay and what is motif motifs are physically existent suppose uh, atoms atoms have a physical existence and these unit cells again have no physical existence because this uh, empty spaces which are surrounding the motif that is only conceived into mind okay so again unit cell have no physical existence lattices are extensive in three dimension because if i add more and more lattice point in any direction 
then the lattice can be extended up to infinity in any direction again okay while the motif have a particular dimension because it is a physical entity for example suppose an atom so it has a physical dimension a particular dimension and unit cell also has a particular dimension because it has a definite shape also okay suppose a uh, uh, atom and a particular area of empty spaces so this was all about the class for today we will meet again on the next class where we will learn the choice how to choose the prominent unit cell within a given lattice okay thank you for watching